is now my pleasure to introduce to you our student speaker. The student speaker is elected from among the graduating MEM students and MF students by their classmates to represent them and speak to you, their guests, on behalf of the graduating class. It is an honor to be elected, and especially this year when we had over 10 nominees. So Thomas Lutkin, or Tom as he prefers, hails from Oxford, Mississippi. He comes to his interest in natural sciences, naturally, through his, <laughs> through his mother, Carol, who is a marine geologist, and his father, Tom, who is a botanist. In fact, Tom's choice of Duke may have been predestined because his parents uh, met, here in the, met here at Duke in the 1970s. <laughs> Although his dad did graduate from a school down the road that shall go nameless, um, we were not going to hold that against it. Um, Tom is a 2014 graduate of Brown University, where he started as a physics major, but then saw the light and changed to environmental science. After graduating, Tom went to work for the U.S. Department of Agriculture as a hydrologist. His boss, was a Nicholas School graduate in the Water Resource Management concentration, and he recommended the Nicholas School to Tom. And while he may have thought that Tom would also have gone and been a worm, that's the Water Resource Management concentration, Tom eventually chose environmental economics and policy. And for those of you who uh, may go to commencement tomorrow, I just want you to know that Tom will be in the choir singing, yes, very impressive, singing the national anthem and the alma mater. Truly a multi-talented individual. <laughs> so Tom was a member of a group MP, that's a master's project, that focused on electricity quality and its economic impacts in northern India. He survived a very, very hot summer in uh, field research in India to gather data for his MP. His post-graduation interests are going to be focused on policy approaches to environmental problems, and in particular, the energy sector and climate change. So ladies and gentlemen, it is truly my honor to give you Tom Lutkin, your student speaker. Thank you, Tati. Um, I'd also like to thank all the amazing Nicholas School faculty and staff for helping get all this together in the very immediate sense of this gigantic tent in the middle of a parking lot, but also in the sense of helping us through the last couple of years. Um, I know they say it's good luck if it rains on your wedding day, so um, maybe the same applies to graduations, but luckily we've held off the rain for a couple more hours. And I'd like to thank all of you Everyone here, my captive audience, I mean, um, my Nicholas School fellow graduates and their friends and families. Um, speaking of my family, I would like to take this moment to apologize to my father, uh, who graduated from UNC. Sorry, Dad. But, uh, but tomorrow is Mother's Day, and my mom graduated from Duke, so, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, <laughs> thank you. So we'll call it even. I am incredibly flattered and honored that you chose me as this year's student speaker. It's been a very packed two years, but we're graduating now, and it feels like just yesterday, Jeff Vincent was instructing us all in proper solar eclipse viewing technique. Um, I'm, not, uh, I'm not a Greek astrologer, fun fact, but I, uh, based on how the last two years have gone for me, I'd say that starting your graduate career under a solar eclipse is a pretty good sign. Um, I think that it's, Wonderful, I've been constantly inspired by all of your passion, and I've been uplifted by all of your friendships. And I can honestly say that these have been two of the best years of my life. And that's not to say that it was a cakewalk. I mean, we had some tough times. There were papers we know we could have done better on. There were some pretty challenging exams there. Um, and that's, of course, to say in a more serious note of our CEM grads who were displaced by Hurricane Florence last fall. We had uh, faculty and friends who were basically kicked out of their homes for more than a month. And 
I honestly have no idea how you all did it. I can barely keep up with things without a hurricane making me have to miss classes. And it's just really inspiring the degree to which you all handled such difficulty. And our, thank you, yes, absolutely. This, this community came together in support of one another then, but they didn't just do it then. Every time we had a problem, every time there was a challenge, big or small, global or personal, someone from the Nick School cared. We helped each other and we inspired one another. So while I know I learned a lot in the classroom and working on my master's project, I really think that the thing that I will remember the most about my time here is all of you. I knew I could learn from a professor before I got here. I knew I could take tests. I knew I could write papers. But the bond that we all formed as we honed ourselves into these professional environmental leaders that we really are today, that was something I wasn't really expecting. Now, graduation is about changing. It's about looking back on what we've accomplished and looking forward to what we will do. I am smarter, I'm more talented, I'm more focused because of my skills that I learned here. But I'm also humbler and I'm more honest with myself and with others. And I'm a better team member. And that's all thanks to all of the work that I did here professionally, but also all of the work that I did with you outside of the classroom. I feel like coming out of this degree, I, there's just nothing I can't do. There is nothing I cannot do, at least <laughs> At least I felt that way until, uh, <laughs> until a couple of days ago. Um, you see, I waited until fairly late to write this speech. I can't see them, but I know some of my professors are nodding a little too enthusiastically at that. Um, but it's true, and I'm glad I waited. Because on Thursday, I was asked point blank, do you think you can fix this? Do you think that you can solve climate change? Now, for you, the question might be different. It might be, do you think that you can solve the problem of pollution in the oceans? Do you think that you can fix social environmental problems? And any of the hundreds of thousands of other crises that our planet faces today? And for me, the answer is no. I can't. I can't fix every environmental problem in this world by myself. But I also know that I won't be by myself because all of you will be there with me. Together, we can all be a part of making sure that Mother Earth has plenty of Mother's Days to celebrate for years to come. It's been a privilege, y'all. Thank you so much, and congratulations to the 2019 Nicholas School graduating class. Thank you. Produced by Duke University.